in this clip I will explain you a lot of different things. I will whisper to you and I will speak in a lower voice. I will explain you what RSMR means and what I like to do with the joy of sound to you. I will tell you more about myself, about the projects I have, about my hobbies, about my tattoos and my alternative look. I will tell you what I do on YouTube and what I like to explore together with you. So feel welcome to come with me on this little RSMR adventure. And if you don't hear everything because in between you feel so relaxed and fall asleep, you can play this clip over and over again. I would be happy over it. So let us start. R S M R cuts. This is my new R S. Maybe you already heard from RSMR, but maybe it is something new for you. But no worries, I will lead you through this adventure. And in this clip, I will explain everything what you need to know. me what does exactly could this mean I will tell it to you in a few seconds but you are already more than welcome to follow this channel here you are more than welcome to subscribe for my RSMR YouTube channel and you are welcome as well to click on the notification bell because every Wednesday and every Sunday upload a new video here on YouTube.
just if Your neck and over your hair that you have the opportunity. 
opportunity to calm down we live in a society where it is hard to just let go so many thoughts in mind so many anxieties following other paths we get angry we get sad so many emotions who fly around us and we don't know how we could let go from all this stuff who surround who have problems to sleep there are a lot of people out there who are not able to just shut their eyes and go to bed it is very sad but if you are one of them maybe we could be the perfect match you can speak as well a bit louder that's no problem for me and sometimes yes yeah, sometimes I read full stories with a louder voice it don't need to be every time just whisper there is no rule what relaxing could mean for you and for me. Maybe you like this sound way more than just the sound of my whisper. But no matter what you like more, I will give you the full package. Because RSMR is for me an adventure as well. RSMR is for me like a vacation into my innards. Because don't get me wrong, I have a pretty intense life too. I am the same, like you. And maybe we can find together a good middle way where we just are in this moment and then the time to relax. On my channel, I will play with my voice, but I will also play with different sounds. I will read books and I will take different things to try get your tingles out of your feelings I want 
to be your warm and nice pillow where you just lay down and relax with me there is no need to rush to be fast you can play my video in the background when you do something where you have as well to be focused and just like to have someone who is speaking to you with a slightly voice When you see me here sitting, then you see me a very interesting side of me. I wear my onesie. This is right. The onesie goes from toe to head. Here I am at my home surrounded by all the microphones. It is the personal stuff you can get from me. And I know exactly this is something you like. Maybe you'll also like to know more about me. And I will be there for you. But I also want to know more about you. Let us start with a little, little, little view into the sound of RSMR. Do you know that feeling? When somebody is touching over your skin, I can drive over my skin very slow. Maybe you already feel the little tingles, but if not, there will be some other rock gems. Some of them already get very triggered from just the sound of skin on skin, the fingers clapping together. But there is more to explore.
this is just the start. Because my onesie is out of cotton and I love me. The thing I love is when cotton comes on cotton. It could be for you something different, but this is why I have right now my onesie here on to get the best sound out of cotton. And this is not all. I have more to show. Because cotton is just one thing. But there are many more. I show you another. weird, huh? When I'm just playing with my onesie and you already have goosebumps everywhere and something happening to you. It is quite intense when you feel how stimulating you can get from the crisps of sound. I couldn't believe it too when I started with this. I was feeling like a fool, but with the sound in the ear and the sound you will hear, you just have to let go and be open for this and then you will find your way to relax to it as well, even more easier than when you just try to sleep in bed. This is a trigger. This is a help. You could get it through. Nice and soft touches. You can get it through my voice. When I speak. In quiet. And silent whisper to you. You get it when I just put the zipper up and down. You can get it even when I read a book for you. And I will do, because I love to read. And even more. I love to read for somebody who enjoy it, not just for me. When it is a good story and when you just listen, then you feel like a child again. And that is something that many people lost. They lost their inner child and I, I wanted to find it with you. And here I am, back again, with a new outfit. Maybe you like it. When you ask yourself, where is this girl coming from? Then you get the answer right along.
I live at a beautiful place and we call it Silent 25. Before I was traveling all around Germany, but now I live close to the Swiss and here I feel so good that I like to stay. There is no need anymore for me to find a new home somewhere else. You never know what will happen in the future, but I work quite hard to can stay here. Silent. You can find the link under this video. It's a nice place where you could get tattoos in the same style like I have. As well, we built here right now our own little world, our own little dimension. It is not always easy to survive in a normal society. And we try to give our best to live alternative in the way we want to. This is nothing for everybody. But for some, it gives a lot of peace and hope and joy and we created a place who gives us the joy we need we built crazy and arty little cabins where the people who come and get tattooed can sleep. Here we have some different projects we create to give the ones who like to a nice journey, a nice time out from the normal society. For sure we are all part of the society. This is something you can't never deny. But we try to give our best to get everyone a little time out. We have different rituals. We like to lead them through. But they just learn in their very unique way to let go. And this is why this YouTube channel for me is something maybe very good for you as well. That you just feel relaxed and let go as well. Because not everybody has the option to travel around to our place, get tattooed or learn a bit more. So YouTube is a pretty good platform. for everyone to connect. If you are curious, feel free 
feel free to check out our pages. We are always take a lot of care that you find our home pages and our connections. That you know where this little cosmos we create is all about. Before, I was just playing with my fingers to trigger you. I play with my skin and hands that I trigger you. I play it with my cotton onesie to show you how amazing the sound from such a material like this sounds as well. But except from the voice, from cotton, from your skin, there is some other nice things when you just feel good when you hear it. Maybe you ask yourself, what exactly is this? This you could use for something it's invited for. Why you just open your horizon and just listen to it for the RSMR satisfaction. Maybe it triggers you. Maybe you like it. Let us find out. As you already can hear, there are some different types of RSMR. You can be very soft. You can talk very slow. You can whisper. But there is also the option to get more aggressive. Because some people they get triggered from more aggressive sounds. So for some of you, this both tools sounds way too aggressive. But for somebody else, it could be less aggressive. And this is the same <laughs> like my live in silent. For some of them, all the tattoos, all the things we like, our opinions 
and our messages are way too aggressive. For some of them, it is too freaky. But some of they feel something. They can identify themselves with what we create here at this amazing place. There is no wrong and there is no right. And the only thing that matters is that everybody is together in a circle. Because in that circle, you can do everything. Actually, I have to say, for me, sounds like this are very intense. In the beginning, I'm not sure if I like them or not, if they are too hard for me, or if I just I idiot who put strange stuff together and try to make a noise out of it. But at the moment when I get goosebumps, and I have goosebumps everywhere, then I know that I'm right directly here with my RSMR. Maybe you have no goosebumps too. It would be delight, because this is what have to happen when you listen to my video. This is what I like to create with everything what I do. Everything what I do and on the place I live, something triggers you. 
in your very own way and to get triggered is the heartbeat from our life if we don't would be triggered from something there would be no no satisfaction so it is important that you find your inner freedom to the stuff who triggers you it is important that you search for them and that you are open for them and that you learn how to take them for your benefit. And when it's even just an RSMR video who let your mind fly away. I am fine with it and I am here for you and for me I also can tell you where my path will go but I know on this place I have a good ability to find it out with your support I have the chance to create something we could maybe benefit together from it. That would be one of my dreams. I want that people hear my voice and they get triggered because they know that now it's a very intense and satisfying time. And I will make it not easy for you to resist. However you find that stupid or not.
you know, I'm absolutely sure you had that moment too. When you heard something in the television and you thought, this sounds so awesome. What is that? When you always hear a promotion, an advertisement about chips, I am sure that you know how this sounds here. When you see the promotion and somebody is biting into the chip. <coughs> Do you think this sound is really the one person who bite in this chip from the promotion? I can tell you to create sound is just an awesome journey. Because to create the sound you want to hear when you think about the product is not every time the sound what exactly was made for it. When you are already here on YouTube you will find some videos where you can see what especially the sound is from. You hear in movies or advertisements. And even when you can tell these two things sounds like this or this, in the end it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that the sound triggers you. And not all what you see is also what you hear. So anyway, in the end it doesn't matter. In the end matter just one thing, that you get triggered. And when you get triggered from me, from my voice, from my look, from the sounds I create, from the clear picture you see, And feel free to follow me. Because I have a lot for you already made. Because every Wednesday and every Sunday I will be here for you. And here I am again. Maybe you already got the point that I really enjoy to dress myself a bit up, to change my hair, to change my ear weights, to change my clothes. Because otherwise, when I would just look the same, it would be a bit boring, right? I already showed you how I can trigger you with my voice, with some items, with my skin, with my clothes I wear. And this is just the beginning, because there are so much trigger out there. When I wouldn't change my clothes, and I wouldn't change my hair, 
at some point it could be boring. And this is the same thing when I just would sit at home. I feel so blessed that I have the opportunity to come around. I absolutely like to travel. To see the world in the full beauty. You are able to travel too. If not, this channel could be something for you. Because when you can trigger around, when you can fly around the world, then maybe I can take your hand and guide you through your inner world through a journey of relaxing and finding yourself. And I can tell you a lot from different places where I already have been on earth. I feel blessed that I can live in Europe. We have some opportunities in our first world country who are not for a lot of other people on the earth. And for this, I am more than thankful. There are places who are really hard from some other people on this planet to go through. But for me, a lot of old doors stand open. Since I was a child, I traveled from here and there all around Europe. One time I was in Florida as well. I love the manatees there. You have to check them out. They look so cute. The nature in Florida is nice and the weather was good. But the consume from the people there and the things you can find there to eat, everything is big. place where I directly felt in love with was Nepal. The mountains of the Himalaya, they are mind-blowing. Nothing to the mountain I can see because I live close to the earth. The Himalaya and have a big place directly in my heart. You feel so small between this beautiful nature, between 
the mountains. It is just a mind-blowing place. When you travel out of Kathmandu, when you travel far away, when you travel that far in Nepal that no bus is around anymore for a nice hike where you have to walk to see the peaks from this crazy mountains, when you're up there over the clouds and the little villages with the dirty kids playing around in the mud and smile to you, even when they have nothing at all, they have the view and they have the possibility to find the nature in their purest beauty. With my husband together, I hike the Annapurna trek. It is the highest pass you can go over without an oxygen mask. I was crying. I was shouting. This was the first trek of my life. and it changed me. And for that I'm thankful. And I know that the Himalaya is the reason for the change of my soul. So if you search for a place to visit, let me tell you, Nepal is worth it. You can't think that you have a Nepal, the biggest luxury at all. Don't forget, it is a third world country. And you will wake up when you stay there. between the poor and the beauty of the rich nature. It is absolutely worth it to explore a journey like this. And because Nepal is a third world country, It is also something for a low budget. The next place I recommend you is Australia. The place where I live is directly on the other side of the earth. After the long flight from over 20 hours, my back hurts. And I was so curious what I can expect from this amazing place. Here, through the nature in the forest, you see deers. But there, in the nature, 
from the bush. You don't see deers, you see kangaroos. When you swim in the ocean, you find in the place here some shells so small and tiny. And when you are in Australia, the shells are so different. They look different and they are way bigger. Everything looks quite like with what I know here from Switzerland and Germany. But there is everything quite the same, but completely different. For Australia, you need time. Even when it is a tiny spot on the Earth's map, it is huge. And there in Australia, you can find everything. It is like your own cosmos. They have the ocean. They have the mountains. They have a desert. They have rainforest. Everything just in one country. When I will go back at somehow to Australia, I need time. And I will take my time. To come low budget from A to B. Maybe the best is to go by a van. But this adventure needs more time and is sadly far, far away from right now. Another nice place I want to recommend you is Europe. Here we have so awesome nature, so different. In Croatia, with the ocean directly at the cliffs. In Greece too, you almost can feel the Olymp around you. In Germany, the Black Forest, where you feel so cozy. And as well, Austria and Swiss, where you can drive over every mountain and have a magnificent view. Yeah, I just can tell. I recommend you Europe too. And the last place I want to talk about is Thailand. I don't like every place in Asia, but Thailand as always, it's RSMR for my soul. I feel every time so relaxed when I have this place to go. In my world, 
full of stress, like in yours too. It is hard for me to find rest because I am always and all the time. That is true. Because what I want to create takes a lot of time. It is my passion, don't get me wrong. But also, in between that, you need your time. And when I fly to Thailand, I feel just fine. The warm blanket of the sun always cover my skin. It is never cold. And with the monsoon rain, it is just magnificent. I love the food. The nice cook. They cook with so much love. And it feels always good. When you like, you get action. When you need rest, you can go far away from the tourism. You can discover the nature, the ocean, the jungle, the cities, the food, the sun, the sundown. You can drive with a motorbike close to the ocean. You can walk through the rice fields and you can enjoy the smile from the people who just enjoy the life. Thailand is awesome and I can't wait to be there again. When you ever was in Thailand or, or in Europe, in Australia or in Nepal, I am actually sure I could trigger you. I am pretty sure that in between of all my voice you closed your eyes and had a flashback to the place where you was. Maybe you was in Nepal. Maybe you traveled through Europe as well. Maybe you are in Australia or in Asia. But it's good to know that the world is such a big place because to travel and to explore is my kind of health. And do you know what I have at health too? I like to read books and so I will do. I already read books a lot of times. This blanket carry around on me when I hear the voice from somebody who spell a story for me. And I just take right now a little tiny story that you know what I mean. 
It is from Dr. Seuss. You have to read and listen between the lines that you understand what he wants to tell. On the far away island of Salamason, Turtle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything the turtles might need. And they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were until Turtle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I am ruler, said Turtle, of all that I see. But I don't see enough. That's a trouble with me. With stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on, it's too, too low. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater it would be. What kind it be ruler of all I could see. So Jirtle the turtle lifted his hand and Jirtle the turtle king gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone and using these turtles he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another's one back and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Dreadle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He couldn't see most a mile. It is always more than amazing to know what the voice can do with your thoughts. To read a book is like a vacation, like a journey, like a holiday. It just enjoys you. and keeps you warm and satisfied and relaxed. And this is something so important. And this is why I will read a lot of books and stories for you in the future to trigger you with the satisfaction of a vacation into the here and right now. As you maybe recognize it, I have a lot of tattoos. This is just a small hint of my full body work. As you can see, with my dreadlocks, I have the ability to change a thousand time my hairs. But to my dreadlocks I will come later. Now I will talk a bit more from my tattoos.
I have a full body suit. A body suit means that my full skin is covered in tattoos. It's not for everybody. I can surely understand this. And it's absolutely fine because this is a good thing. Nothing is for everybody. But for the ones like me, it means the world. I couldn't be prouder to have a suit like this on my body. That somebody gave me the chance to explore this kind of experience. With the age of 18, I already started to get some tattoos. At this time, I wasn't finding anybody who wanted to work with me for a full suit. But I always was curious about how a suit could look. One, one too much. The other tattoo artist had not much time. Some changed their names. Some changed their space. I had always so much trouble to find the artist I really want. So I started to collecting all around. And at some point, I met my husband. And he wanted to give me a full suit. This was a big step because I already put so much money and effort into my tattoos. But I knew that would be my chance. And when I would say no, I would kick my ass. I am a person who don't like to say so often no because I love to make experiences and this experience too when people come to me and ask me if it hurts then I only can say for sure it was hurtful, but it was part of the way. The progress was intense because it was just one year. And after the year, I am now standing here, covered in a suit and I saw never before something beautiful like this and it's on my body. In my hands is a script. It called Size grit and 
which is created from my husband. Do you have a tattoo? Or do you want to? Maybe what I say is new for you, but maybe you actually know how it feels to get ink under the skin. I am always overwhelmed when I look into the mirror that I had the ability of this amazing suit. I am proud and I am happy at the same time. And this tattoo is just the beginning of my path. But nobody knows where the path will go. There is so much to explore. And I am so happy to live in this healthy body. I am so happy to can express myself because I learned to be self-confident. It doesn't matter for me if you personally like my tattoos or not. Because the only thing that matters is the longest relationship you have in your life. And do you know which relationship this is? It is the one with yourself. And as long as you do what makes you will be healthy and confident. Never, never ever try to pretend. To feel the need to be somebody else. it's up on you if you like to change and how you like to change. Okay. Back to another little view into the RSMR Listen carefully into yourself.
you know how this feels and what the triggers by me do you know when the guy shaved his head but not like bold with one one and a half centimeters of hair and when you then go with your hand over it it feels the same but it isn't it's a brush
let me know if you like this trigger. I have to say, I love to touch it. It's like the short hair. And I love to touch over short hair. Especially for you. And I am in a new outfit and back again. So after my talk about tattoos, I will dive directly into my talk. Because my dreadlocks, I have already way longer than my tattoos. Where I live, there are tattoos forbidden until you are turned 18. And with 18 then you have the chance to make yourself a tattoo. But my dreadlocks I already have since I'm 30. Since I was a small little kid. With eleven, I wanted already dreadlocks because I saw a girl with long white dreadlocks on the street. I tell it to my mother, but she told Seeing she thought that I will forget about it, but I haven't. <laughs> so, with 13, I find somebody in my little village who was able to make me dreads, and I got them. Since then, I took a lot of effort into my hair. When you sing, this hair is more easier than normal hair, then it's kind of right. But it is pretty simple. The longer you have your dreads on your head, the better they will look with the time. Because everything what you need for dreads is time. When you already plan have your dreadlocks, your full life on your head, then start directly to make them bigger. For me, it was in the beginning when I got my dreadlocks in a time where nobody, not a lot of people had dreads. The phenomenon of dreads came mistakes with my dreadlocks. I made them way too thin and I put a lot of color in what destroys them as well. One year my dreads fall apart and I started to realize that I have to take more effort in them when I like to hold them forever. So I started to prepare and repair my dreadlocks. And then after a while I turned into really good. I was going with my hands in my hair and then I was able to make my dreadlocks by my own. I just used a hooked crush. 
did I make my first drop out of it? In between I worked in a discotheque but only shirt. It was not a nice job because I don't drink alcohol and I hate when people smoke. So there was the wrong place for earning some money. But then I started to work as a dreadlock maker. for 500 heads for sure. I took care of the dreadlocks from the people around me. The ones who had nice long hair. I couldn't dread it there. And I take a lot of effort into it because for me this was not just a hairstyle. This turned into a lifestyle. all the 500 people around me. I heard a lot of different stories. I got a lot of information. You know that too. Your hairdresser or your cosmetician is for sure as well somebody you tell a lot of stories. And when you have nine hours time minimum to tell a lot of your stories out of your life because I sit behind you and make your hair into dreadlocks. Then there is a lot to tell. It was a nice and enjoyable time for me. I was very fast and good at making dreadlocks. But at some point, I felt that this is more a lifestyle for me than for the ones who get their dreadlocks. Because for sure from 500 people I make dreadlocks. At least 400 cut them off after a few years. So all the effort, everything what I put with my heart into dreadlocks, into the opportunity of an alternative look for an alternative life got destroyed with one scissor in a very short time. very sad for me. I couldn't handle this situation very good. When you spend so much time for giving other people dreadlocks, when you listen to all their life stories, you give them something like this on their head and they don't read it with the right amount of respect when they just take it for style to cut it off. And you know, three years you wear this kind of hair when you put so much time in it. Then it's just sad to cut it off. To cut it shorter because they are too long. I understand. But going this path since such a long time and then just cut it off. Everybody's individual can do what they want. But this is not my kind of way when I like to give people dreadlocks. So I stopped. Dreadlocks as well 
environment and it was anyway a good point to stop them. And for sure, sometimes I miss to create a person new because with dreadlocks you look for sure so different than with normal hair. My dreadlocks are now very long. All the history they have inside them. so much money into your lungs and just get out in the air. This is a waste of money and health. You only have this one life. So don't waste it away with smoke. When you get dreadlocks you have to be sure you get all the time confronted with it. The people just see in you exactly what they want to. On every border I get stopped. On a lot of borders I already had to make drug tests. The people are 200% sure that I smoke for Johanna. I get offended in the streets when somebody is coming to me and asks 
ask me for drugs. I hate it. But sadly, this is the truth of having this kind of hairstyle. So be sure when you make yourself dreadlocks that you have the confidence to look over it, to change people's opinion and show them that it's not absolutely correct if you have dreadlocks or not, that you directly need to smoke weed or something else. And if you do, you are a fool. You can be sure that some people and the police will come to you at first and they find out that you are using illegal substances. dreadlocks even better. So I can wave when I'm the next time at the ocean to swim like a sea star. Hands away, legs are stretched and the waves are smashing to
African hair. curly hair it will be hard to make your dreadlocks but they will look even nicer when they get older and they need way less care than thin hair often you already get dreads in your curly hair When your dreadlocks get longer and older, then you will have a problem. Because when you did your dreadlocks too small, they will fall from your head because of the weight. Think about the fact that dreadlocks getting very heavy the longer they are and it's even more heavy when you wash them all the time for that you need very very strong Also do European hair. 
every consistence of the hair need different treatments and different help. I can tell you over ten years and longer I have my dreadlocks on my head and I knew a lot of different people with dreads and their problems and I know exactly what you need for a treating for your dreadlocks some people do soap in their dreadlocks it gets very sticky after a time and it doesn't look any good anymore stop that Dreads have to be more than just their style. They could give you a nice reminder of the way of your past. And they sound amazing when you listen to them in RSMR. Fashion is absolutely a nice way to dress up, to enjoy the materials, to style in different ways, to explore yourself. Because it's important to explore yourself too. It is important that you explore yourself. That you explore what you like to look like. And that you get confidence out of it. Out there in the world, there are so much different materials. And I love cotton. But right now you get more. Polyester 
It was nice. It was nice to get recognized even when I already had dreadlocks and I already looked a bit more different than a lot of other people. And in this time I saw a lot of people who are more alternative dreadlocks, tattoos, who got 
photoshootings and photos out of it where there was no classiness at all. I just saw pictures from alternative people somewhere in old houses at lost places with photographers where the quality wasn't nice at all. And when the photographer asked me to make a photo shooting as well with me, I was struggling because I don't want it to get one from the others who have not good pictures at all. But I knew this photographer, it was the right moment and the right time because he made high quality photographs and it was a very good start because I get to honor to have directly pictures who fit perfect to me and looks awesome. After I got the pictures, I was for sure curious how far I can go with the medium of photography. I already had a lot of confidence and I already knew what I like and what not. And I knew when I start this chapter with photography and being the model in front of the camera, I just wanted high quality pictures. I'm not interested in weird pictures and lost places from photographers who don't know how to shoot their pictures in manual. And with these amazing photos I directly had at the beginning, a lot of doors opened for me. You have to know that in Germany is a big, nice culture from photographers who are really good, but don't do it in a professional way. In times of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you see that there are a lot of photographers, videographers who have the opportunity to progress. The quality of the cameras is already so good that you can make good pictures and videos in automatic. But you can do way more when you are putting your camera in manual and know exactly how to use your camera and what you have to do with it. And this was the photographers I searched for. I sent them my portfolio, the first pictures, and then I get first impressions from the photographers, how they worked, if I like what they do, if we could be a match, because after every picture there is as well a soul this is right. Only you see the end product. You think this is how it is. But I see way more beyond. When I see the end product from the photographer, then I knew exactly if it could be a match or not because I see the work the photographer or the videographer put into it. I see if he knew how he can progress, how he can get better. And in a very, very small amount of time, I had to do with a lot of not professional, but very professional photographers, and I worked together with them. And then as well, a lot of other photographers wrote me who was not that good that I wanted for my vision of art. And sometimes they just needed a few years progress and then I shot with them. And in a world where likes, hurts, thumbs, friends have the biggest power of quality, a lot of photographers struggled because a lot of girls, guys, whoever, just go to the photographers with the most of likes.
but out there they are very much talented photographers and videographers and you have to go with them as well when they don't have many likes because you can be the chance to change their world of art. When I started with photography it was a perfect symbiosis to my love for fashion, to my love for being self-confident and exploring myself. Because you as model, you have at somehow be confident because the photographer couldn't make the 120% out of his work when you stand in front of the camera and don't know what to do. The picture will be enormous better when you know how you like to act in front of the camera. When you know how you look in your outfit and when you can take the outfit just as part of your imagination for the art you put in the photo or in the art you put in your video. And the person behind the camera just can do the picture, the drawing, the art, and you be the turnaround, the view, the perfection of this, for putting together the puzzle pieces for a big explosion of art. And for sure, when you have the confidence, go ahead in front of the camera and enjoy what you do. The pictures could get awesome. When you know how you can talk with the one behind the camera that he or she understand what exactly you want and you understand exactly what the ones behind the camera want and the symbiosis is good then we have will be a good picture out of it and when I look right now at the pictures from the beginning of my photo career until what happened right now it's a big explosion and I was happy that I go this path in that way with such aggressivity because for sure I had to say to a lot of photographers no even when it's not personal even when it's just about the quality of the picture even when it's just about the feeling I get about the pictures when I click through the pictures and I don't stuck in one picture and have the right amount of feeling then there is no shooting happen at all and at some point when you are already 10 years making photographs I also stuck in the way of my productivity because I know exactly how I like to be and stand in front of the picture I like I was very limited because I already knew what I need to have the perfect picture of me as news for you. And so I get bored from the medium photography and with the big change of my bodysuit, of my tattoo, I got... I was struggling again. My full wardrobe wasn't fitting at all to me anymore. All the nice floral designs I had, all different colors, everything I had to give away because it was not anymore what I wanted to represent. And after I got my full body suit, I done a lot of new photo shootings to explore myself in a different way again. How do I like to look in front of the camera? How do the photographer see me? What the photographer makes out of the pictures? 
and I saw that there is a stop, a stop of the work I already have done, because I have seen everything for me. I have seen nice natural pictures with natural light. I was standing in the studio. I had photographers with a lot of photo work behind it. I had photographers who've done less work. I had very arty pictures and very natural pictures. I had all the roundabout already in the 10 years and after it. This the chapter of photography was just done. My Facebook page had so many followers I wasn't sh even know that I could get so many followers. I see a lot of people, a lot of alternative girls got in the same direction as me in the photos. And it was an absolutely nice compliment and I really loved it, but I wanted more. I wanted just more. When I already go that path, when I already worked so hard on my confidence, when I already knew how I like to look, what I like to wear, what it does to me, how I can act with a photographer to get the best photos out of the shooting. Yeah, then you at some point can never return to the start again. Making photos is a nice fun and it does a lot for you but it's also hard work behind it that you know how to act with the ones behind the camera that you see over the edit pictures and know how you can spell the right words to give confidence to the photographer to the artist and he can make a bigger picture out of it that you both can put your vision together And when I already gone this path from photography, where I had so much nice pictures in so much different levels and ways, worked together with so amazing artists, then I was just more curious. And I found together with my husband the medium of film. And I have to tell Pictures without motions already very, very nice. But pictures with motions, they are mind-blowing. With a medium film, you can make a whole world out of one picture. And this is so fascinating. And I was already so overwhelmed from all the pictures I got from me. From all the amazing artists I could work together. But when you have the medium film, it is way more intense than just a picture. You have to know what you do. You have to be fully focused. There are so many problems who can come to you and you have to solve while you make the perfect video clip. I see it on my husband, his progression from photography to the progression of film and I am just overwhelmed what he create. But This is something what is already four years around us in our lives. And we spend a much and a lot of time together to create this beautiful space, to create video clips, photography, to give others experiences. But it also means a lot 
of focus. And he is 300% focused. I work together with a lot of creative people and they, some of them was more focused and some of them less. And for sure, when you work in a normal job, it is hard to be focused for the passion you love. There will come so many stones in your way for the focus you need to do what you love. And to let all the stones behind you, it takes a lot. It takes a lot from you emotionally and a lot of people will turn against you. It is the same for me as model. For the ones who stand behind the camera and as well for the ones in front of it. And this is something where you have to think carefully about. For me as model, standing in front of the camera is an amazing thing. But right now, I also take a lot of time behind it. I edit photos, I edit videos. I also go right now in the process of knowing what I do when I stand behind it. And this is very, 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 very intense. But it's good because I have now the opportunity to know how much work will get into all of this. What it needs to create this beautiful piece out of a picture and out of a video. What it needs to go over the confidence, over the borders and over the anxieties you have. And just to show the world what you like and love. I am overwhelmed that so early in my life I could create already so much. That somebody was giving me their time to create with me together the perfect imagination that I had so amazing high quality pictures and I, I don't really don't had to see myself standing in a lost place between a graffiti on the wall and see all the pictures and just feel ashamed. <laughs> and this is something that is really important. So for all the models out here, when you start, don't start with the worst of the worst. Start and work hard for it. Put a lot of effort of it in a photographer who really know what exactly the photos are doing with you. Take your time before you start with shootings to get confidence. Think about exactly what imagination you have for your picture and think about the fact what you like to wear and how you look in it when you wear it. Because the less you do for the picture you like to create, the more have the photographer to do and the harder it will be to get the perfect image out of it. The medium with the camera to create art and to create art is something very, very special. To drawing a picture, you can erase something, but you already know that when you erase something from the picture you draw, isn't looking good anymore. So you rip the paper apart and start again. 
but it already do something with your feeling of self-confidence. And now think about a motion picture, a video. And when you see material from you, who is absolutely against the level of your confidence, and do more harm than beauty, then you have to do more. And you have to know exactly how you like to look, because the absolutely important point of all of this is to create a better picture than you have in mind. To create a better art than you was expecting. And the one behind the camera and the one before have to be the one and important priority of it. Not somebody standing next to it, not somebody who is coming with you and just speak with you how you have to act. No, you and the one behind it. Now you think why it's a part of this SMR, RSMR video, but this is a very important part of my life. This RSMR is a long video where I talk about everything. So for sure, I talk about a very important and emotional part of my life. And now, we will come back to YouTube and the last important thing to say. Okay, this is my last change of clothes and outfit for this long, long, long explanation video from me and my RSMR channel. In the last uh, couple of minutes I talked about a very important topic for me, photography and medium film. And to get back on track, I explain you know why exactly I made a RSMR channel here on YouTube. At first, it is pretty simple. All the stuff I do, it is not directly made for YouTube. <laughs> I have a very wild life, a very kinky life. And I absolutely live it. But I have as well a very, very different side. I have a side where I have the ability to calm people down. Since the beginning of my life, I know that I got so many stories told that I get so many trust from people out there that I had so many different levels of talks that I knew that I like to make something out of this too. In school I always was the one who had read thousands of papers out of a book for the other people because they don't want to read and they couldn't. And books are already have a long, 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 since I can read, for sure the deepest and most important time for me, because when I have free time, I put it in books. When I have free time, I put it in taking care of me and others. And for sure, 
RSMR is a nice medium to sit in front of the camera, but also to sit behind the camera, to edit videos, to build up a film set, to have everything settled, because what you see here in this picture is just a bit of the full package. <laughs> After so many hours, you have to sneeze. Do you know that? Always when you don't need something, you always get this. So normally I don't need to sneeze. I don't have a tingle in my nose or anything. And when I start to make RSMR and sit in front of the camera, putting on press play, then directly my nose starts to tingle. I feel that I have to sneeze. It's always the same. And I'm pretty sure this is something you will see in my future videos too. Because I try to avoid, but I can't. So when you hear a sound in the background, don't be angry with me. When I have to sneeze, then don't be angry with me. I really don't like to cut something out of the video because I like that you get an intimacy atmosphere and then it's something quite normal. And this is something you will see in my videos as well. So don't be angry with me. And as well, I'm always, 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 always happy for some comments under my videos that you tell your friends that I had a YouTube video and a page that you click on the notification bell to get all my videos that you feel free to subscribe and tell all the others they can subscribe too that you come and be with me part of the adventure. On YouTube is this everything for free. And this is my present for me and for you that you get a view into something really intimately out of my life for free. But for sure I also have private pages like Patreon and some other stuff where you get even more backgrounds I couldn't tell here in these clips because my life is so much more than just this. And when you like to support me, feel free to follow me on Patreon. And when you like to support all of our projects, feel free to follow us everywhere. A sentence I like to say is... The World Wide Web is my playground. I hide and you can come and find me. <laughs> because this is absolutely the true sense of it. <laughs> I am a very long time already in the World Wide Web and Everything starts with making dreadlocks and then I make my photo shootings, I have my pages and now everything have a really crazy twist because I have no other job. I put all the effort I do into this. This is my life. This is the passion I have. This is my job. And... I make very different stuff because I love to explore. I love to play because there is no limitation. For sure you think there will be a limitation at somehow, but there is not. So only when you maybe know me and I do something so different than here on this channel, there is no limit. 
and I like to do now are ASMR channel and I think I want to explore the beauty of sound, then I just do it. And maybe you like it too. Maybe you explore something with me together. Maybe you think, oh, this is weird. But maybe at somehow you think, wow, this is like absolutely true. Oh, this is absolutely wrong. But I can't look away. I know what I know about me. And I also got in my lifetime a lot of experience where I know other people too. Because other people show me how they are. And now I can work with it. I can work with it on private pages and I can work with it on YouTube. I can work with something I had to fight my full life with, with the anxiety to just be in the moment. This is something I also need to learn every day over and over and over again. Sometimes I'm so stressed and I just can let go and enjoy the moment because I think about so much stuff. And when I made my first RSMR video experience, I couldn't believe it either. How retarded this is that somebody sits in front of the screen with some super expensive and awesome microphones and just make weird noises and sounds. And then you make your boxes louder or you put some headphones in, you close your eyes and you just listen and the meaning of just being in the moment comes right through your body. It's not just something what is made from the society or the world wide web it's not just a trend it's the truth it's absolutely truth and overwhelming feeling of grabbing the moment and have through your ears the joy and the relaxing of sound and it works. And in a world that never stops, in a mind that never rests, for me it works. And this is something I want to give to you as well, as my passion and present for you. Because I know out there are so many people who can rest. And they pay a shitload of money to go to a therapist or to make something to get the rest. But maybe I already can change this a quite bit. Maybe it's better for you to take the money and to go on a vacation, to stop smoking and to drive with your car to the ocean and hear the sound of the waves, to smell the sun. Maybe I have the ability to give you this joy and satisfaction, the warm feeling that you learn to let go. That was just, that would be awesome. I think for you in the beginning it could be weird to go through this because in the beginning for me it was weird as well. But maybe you get something from it and return back. 
because there's nothing weird in anything at all. This is something I also felt very early in my days when I get confronted with situations others feel weird. Only because someone is telling to you that this has no right, it isn't true. You have to figure out by yourself what is right and what is wrong. You have to figure out all by yourself. Here on YouTube, there are so many different channels with so many different meanings, with so many different topics. But at some point, it makes all sense in their own way. When you like to search for a bit more from my little word here, you can come on our private pages for sure, Patron, have every time I open door, where you see a lot of me, because it's my personal diary of life. And I share the stuff I no, not at all share anyway, anywhere at all. But my beloved husband have a YouTube channel as well. For sure I will write down under this video all the links you have to know to come through the very important pages where you get the roundabout view from this little piece of the puzzle. The YouTube channel from my husband is Lily Lou. And there you can see already a lot of stuff out of our alternative crazy life. And we have a kinky channel as well, where you can see a lot of different stuff out of our kinky life. And you can follow me everywhere. On Facebook, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on TikTok, on Instagram. And can see the progression of my life when it started, when I am my dreadlocks to come to the point of photography, to let go from photography and start with my big bodysuit and then to come over to my different kind of films I produced and be part of. And now to this chapter of life, RSMR. The absolutely new experience for me and you. But since always I grow with everything I do, I always progress and here I will for sure progress too. This is just the start of YouTube. My husband is already one year on this platform and it takes a lot of benefit for us. It is awesome to have a louder voice where we can speak, where we can show people what the meaning of our life is about and how we create our path. Because for some it's just foolish, but for some it gives a lot of positive vibes and help. For some it's the beginning of progressing their self. And this is another puzzle piece to start to progress when you are open for it in your own way when you can see what you can make out of your life when you just go for it. And I know 
for this. There is this amazing, crazy wall where you can come over. And this wall is anxiety. It's always the biggest fear. What holds us back? When you already watch this video from the beginning on, I start for sure with the basics on my clip and what I will create with RSMR. In the beginning I directly tell about my tattoos, about my dreadlocks, what I do, about everything what you see, because it's for sure the first interest of all. And this is absolutely okay. We are all the same. It's your right. And this is why I have done this. But maybe I can create to let you read as well between the lines and go a bit deeper together with you. To get a bit deeper in your feelings, to let go from anxiety, to read books between the lines and get your very own message out of it. I don't know how deep I can go into your own soul and mind and feelings. I don't know exactly where this path will lead me, where this RSMR door will open something new. I absolutely don't know. But the nice thing on an RSMR is that there are no rules. You can do whatever you like to. You can do that anyway. But RSMR have a wide open range. And for sure I start with my passion. For sure I start with the things I like to explore with the amazing joy of sound. I like to bite an apple and want to hear the crisp sound for it and what it do to me. I like to read a book where I fall asleep just while listening. I like to make a motivation video where I will start together with you in the day and tell you the nice words you like to hear because nobody else is able to tell them to you. I like to be just the warm, relaxing blanket around you who just put the hand on your shoulder and is there for you. I want to be the last good thought you have in mind before you fall asleep. I want to be the energy who will figure out the puzzle of your day and make it to a very reflecting one where you know exactly why you're doing this that you can be proud of yourself for doing what you do to cross your borders or just to put the headphones on and enjoy through the intensity of sound because there are so many crazy and nice sounds out there and the people Forget to listen. We are always here 
and there and everywhere is noise and sound and surroundings and it somehow it just got inside this ear and falls down on the other and we forget about the intensity of it. Always the music have so loud that your ears are exploding, that you feel your body. I know that and you know that too. And it's a nice thing and it's absolutely right. But maybe you also can just take the minimalism of sound and put it in a full emotion. It don't need to be always loud and bright and overwhelming because the noise is so accurate. It also can be slow down very simple and also so overwhelming because it is so intense. You are more than welcome to get with me on this adventure. I work really hard that I can afford to take my time in the new chapter of YouTube. And I'm very proud of it because I live healthy. I give every day my best. And this is something I create here for the ones who are interested in it. This is something that I want to do because I think that you get a lot of benefit from it. And I get a lot of benefit from it too. And I have just fun to create a new picture change my hair, change my clothes, having the joy of putting some nice color around my eyes, have a nice background, have an awesome, awesome picture and a crisp sound using the microphones I like, sitting after it, and editing the videos. To having the intensity of the minimalism. This is awesome. Look. This I bought for 50 cents in the supermarket. I already can fill an hour just with making sound with this plastic bag. I can fill an hour to make sound. What comes so close to you? Just with this sponges. Listen, how amazing this is.
Will you now just close your eyes? Breathe and take a moment. Put the headphones on and listen to the sound. For 50 cents out of the supermarket. And it's just intense. Isn't that weird? But nice at the same time. you like. You are more than welcome to coming with me now and then on this amazing adventure. Feel free to subscribe for my YouTube channel here. Tell it to all of your friends.